It's a very interesting thought. Uh, perhaps a little bit more kind of socially uh, acceptable is the NHS dentist. I mean, finding a national health dentist, any of you as a Brit would know that might be a very valuable service. This is a nice example, the postcode paper. When we put this together in November, most of the data in there was not publicly available or we were bracing, breaking various licensing rules. We could not use for free in the UK our postcodes until April the 1st this year. So we're rather proud of this. You can put in a postcode now and find out what the crime rates are by you, what the, where the bus stops are recently, perhaps even, perhaps we might even find out what the bus timetables are, but you know what? When government franchises out services like transport, what does it fail to keep? The data. So now we have the absurd position in the UK where the train operators can tell a bright person to cease and desist from distributing an application that tells people when this company's trains run. The only people who can do that are the train operators. If I can tell them something, if I haven't forgot to read. How nuts is that? A company that believes that actually restricting to their own application, telling people when their trains run or when their services are organised, is the way to success just seems nuts. We have these local monopolies. The big news last week was the release of the Treasury Coins database, which was literally unusable at the point of release. Within a day and a half, a bunch of activists at the Guardian newspaper at least put a navigation system around it so you could browse the government that the money was spending by various departments and aggregate that up. We've been working on these various standards, which are open, which are W3C standards that I'd love to talk to you more about, but I know this isn't a geek fest, but it's powerful. Linked data as an open standard allows us to go across data sets using key items of data as the binding points for data sets. So if I have data sets on hospitals and transport and education, I can use data from our newly liberated ordnance survey, which defines the administrative boundaries and pull the information together that relates to these administrative geographies. We've got some very cool technology to do this. Uh, I can point people to do that. In, and we're trying to do this at the local level. Crucially, the data revolution can't just apply at the national level. It's got to go down into regional authorities, to local authorities, to the police authorities. There's lots that needs to happen. We've got a whole set of tests against this. We've got to shift the culture to be a presumption to publish using open standards. There are challenges. We'll talk about those. We will talk about some of them. Privacy. Um, this has all been non-public, non-personal data to date, but there will be a push.